I want you to just absorb and digest this. The theory, the analogy given to explain the vision of the pious, how they can flush out negativity, close the chapter, turn the page, move on, embrace a new page of life, and be light and happy, cheerful, and not whole and keep any grudge, how they do it. When a servant views the wrong of fellow servants, a human views the wrong of fellow humans with the apparent eye, the physical eye, the tangible eye, then afna ayyamahu fi muhasamatihim. He destroys his whole life in proving his innocence and implicating others. No, no, but I'll never forgive you what you did to me on my wedding day. But that was nasty. That was evil. That was obnoxious. How evil? How could you have ever said such a nasty thing to my son? But that was wicked of you to do this to my sister. So when a person views the happenings around him of fellow humans with the apparent, the outward, the physical eye, his entire life goes in back and forth, up and down, productive, counterproductive, exonerating himself, implicating others, to no avail. Your life ends. Afna ayyamahu fi muhasamatihim. But flip the coin and look at the lenses of the pious. When a servant views the atrocities of other humans to him with the deeper eye and the inner eye, and that is the will of Allah, that those around me are nothing more than instruments for the execution of the plan that Allah has decreed for me. Then he can release all negativity in one go because he knows whoever has harmed you as much as that person is a guilty party. My Allah has the cloud and the muscle to block him and stop him. And if Allah did not stop it, then that was the will of Allah in my favor. So he rises above. He goes beyond. He doesn't have a cursory glance. He has a deep eye. He doesn't have the outward eye. He has the inner eye. Ala tara ila Yusuf hina ali al qada. Don't you marvel at Yusuf when he seen how the plan of fate, destiny, and taqdeer played out? He said, I've got no gripe with you. You dropped me in the well. The caravan picked me up. But ultimately, this is what my Lord has decreed for me. So my chapter with you is done. I have forgiven you and may Allah forgive you. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een. Walhamdulillahi rabbil